Now, imagine a couple finding out the risk of having a child with sickle cell disease is due to their genotype, AS. Well, this hurdle can now be scaled through the help of medical science. And Sheridan has more in the following reports. To a child with sickle cell disease is major. A young couple, James and Martha Smith, not their real names, have welcomed their first child avoiding this risk of having a child with sickle cell disease through a groundbreaking procedure successfully performed in Ghana for the first time at Lister Hospital in Accra. So when I found out that both my partner and I were carriers of the sickle cell gene, um, I was scared that we would have children who would be sickle cell carriers uh, themselves, like who would be SS. Uh, growing up, I had schoolmates that were SS, and it was difficult for them. I had seen um, family friends lose their children and siblings to the disease. Um, so it was something I I was scared of and wanted to prevent um, at all costs. Dr. Adam Hiaji explains how the process begins. It starts with giving the woman medications to produce uh, between 10 and 20 eggs. These eggs are harvested and the partner's sperms are used in fertilizing it. Um, but we choose for, for doing the biopsy, because you don't want contamination, you need to use intracytoplasmic sperm injection, which means one sperm per egg, rather than multiple sperms per egg, as in IVF. So you do the ICSI, which is a short form for the word, and then um, allow them to develop. They de de develop by splitting um, into two, four, eight, sixteen, and they carry on until they reach the blastocyst stage, which is the final stage that would exist outside the body. Consultant embryologist Dr. Brian Woodward tells how the unaffected embryo is selected. Firstly, you need the equipment. Uh, so at the Lister, they've got very specialist equipment that allows us to do this very precise micro manipulation. We're using needles that you can't see the end of with your naked eye. Um, very precise movements that we need. Um, and then we have really good teamwork. That's very important because we have to take an embryo that's five days old. We have to pinch off some cells from the, the parts of the embryo that's forming the placenta. And then we have to take those cells, precisely put them through various solutions, totally sterile, before we then freeze them and send them off for assay. In the meantime, the embryos get frozen. Um, so they're stored in liquid nitrogen until we get the result from the test, and then we can see what embryo has the sickle cell, what embryo doesn't, and then we can thaw definitely the embryo that we know doesn't have the sickle cell, and we can make a healthy baby, which is the fantastic news that I've been told today. Now the woman would have gone through stimulation, egg collection and all that, so you let her rest, and then two months later, you prepare the lining of the womb. This is just a single injection they take and then take some tablets to prepare the lining, finish with suppositories. And then you now select the unaffected embryos and put them back. In her case, we had 10 uh, embryos. Uh, six were affected completely, that is SS. Uh, only one was an AA and the other five were uh, ASs. So we put back an A and an AS and she got pregnant with one kid.